Here's your daily dose of fitness, food, and fun. Angelica's daily surprise starts now. Now, the only way to achieve this is to fail thousands and thousands of times. Doesn't that sound like the Wheel of Fortune? When it stops? Oh, you're bankrupt. <laughs> you're a castanet tree. You are the castanha. <laughs> Oh, hello there. Where'd you come from? Do you see I'm wearing my slippers and practicing my castanets? Isn't that so much fun? You don't need flamenco shoes to practice the castanets. It's its own standalone musical instrument that can be found in Spanish music and classical music as well. So, all right, last time I taught you how to tie on your castanets, we're just going to tighten them up as always, right? Little finger corset. We're gonna go right into puns. So puns are when you strike both of your fingers onto the castanet at the same time. Now last time, I started to teach you something called the change hello goodbye, all right? I'm gonna break that down. My left arm is above my head. I'm gonna do a pun as I change around the outside. I come up through the center, hello. I go down through the center, goodbye. Change, hello. Goodbye, change, hello, goodbye. Now, this is a fantastic arm workout because we are squeezing every single muscle in the upper body as we lock into place with each arm change. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Let's try the other side. So right arm above the head, left arm abajo, down at the bottom. We have change around the outside, one, Two, three. So it's cambio. That means change. Around, arriba, abajo. Change, hello, goodbye. All right, so that's something you can practice on your own time. Now, everybody always wants to learn the rias. They take time and you need to develop individual finger strength, so let's get started. You're taking your right hand or your left hand, depending on which side you're dominant on, and you're going baby, ring, middle, index. Baby, ring, middle, index. Now, you're hitting not with the direct top of the nail, nor the flat part of your finger bed somewhere in the middle. Make sure that finger rebounds off that castanet. So you build up speed as you get more comfortable. Now to complete the ria, you have to finish with the ta of your left hand. So one, two, three, four, left. One, two, three, four, left. Now, when you're learning how to play the castanets, you wanna to try to not let this happen. So you don't want the castanets to shine towards the ceiling. They won't be able to hang and create noise anyway. So if you get like this, you've gotta switch it so that you can make the sound, right? One, two, three, four, five. Lift that chest through the arms. Above the head, Build up speed. Take it back down. So it might take some time to develop articulation in your fingers individually, but stay on it, okay? All you need to do is get good at your dominant hand. You're not expected to be ambidextrous when it comes to castanet playing, all right? Even though some people are, and that's kind of cool, but nobody's paying attention at the Flamenco Society, okay? <laughs> so you've got one, two, three, four. Now, we're going to drill these two fingers and your ta. So you've got middle index ta. until you can get a gallop. <laughs> so you're galloping 
across the castanets. It's like you're scratching something. <laughs> so once again, it's kind of like doing bicep curls with this part of your fingers. You're going da dun da dun da da. So the ria is just kind of a four-fingered version of that. Now, the only way to achieve this is to fail thousands and thousands of times, okay? <laughs> You've got to figure it out for yourself. Now, you know how I was practicing with my castanets to my ears? Maybe don't do that. <laughs> you might hurt your ear. Also, your fingers are not in the correct position. So always practice. And just... Doesn't that sound like the Wheel of Fortune when it stops? Oh, you're bankrupt. <laughs> okay, let's go back to pun. Double it up. Take it above the head. Triplets. Take it out. Oh. My forearms, they're burning. Two, one. Oh, shake it out. <sighs> Developing the stamina for castanets. It's a, it's, it's a very, um, it's very strenuous. Like you get real tired real fast. What other thing in the, in the realm of dance and exercise are, are you in a fifth position, which is arms framing the head and then striking down with individual fingers. You're getting right in there and you're getting the palm of your hand starts to develop these weird like beefy muscles. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing. So it is challenging. People always start off very excited about castanets. They're like, oh, I can't wait to get to that level, right? You have to be very patient. Your body has to adjust to this feeling of playing this instrument. So it can take a while before you get crisp sounds and feel strong dancing it, so stick with it. All right, one last thing I'm going to teach you. We've learned P, ta, pun, P to pun. <laughs> Let's do that again above the head. P, ta, pun. And we've learned ta, Ria, ta, ria. This is ria. This is ta, ria. This is pi. This is ta. Pita pita pi. Ta pita pita. Pita pita pi. Ta pita pita. You've got your individual finger drills. And then you've got chin. C-H-I-N. This is the last thing I'm going to teach you in this last minute of this video together today. Uh, Chin, you're taking your fingers and you're bringing them together and you're going to overlap, strike. So they go over each other. They don't go like this. Don't do that. They don't go like that. Don't do that. You want to slot them in over each other. Up above the head. Pun in front, chin, pun behind, chin, pun above the head, chin, pun. So this is your homework. Below, behind, above the head, in front, behind, above, behind, in front, behind, above, behind. Whatever you do, don't waver. Stay strong like a tree trunk, okay? You're a castanet tree. You are the castanha. <laughs> Work on these chins, these, bleh, these chins, these uh, peas, these tas, these tarrias, and I'll surprise you with more strange terminology next time. That's been Angelica's Daily Surprise. Have a good day.